For our last story tonight, let's talk about parenting. They say it takes a village to raise a child. But thanks to medical science now, it can also take the DNA of three parents to have one. That's right. DNA from three individuals to produce one baby. And the procedure can be life-saving. We're talking about three parent babies. It is a real thing. And the UK just got its first such baby. Although it's not a new phenomenon. The first three parent baby was born in the year 2016. And since then, many more have been brought to life. This only goes on to show how far science has come. But the procedure is not without risks. Here's a report. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. How many times did you wrote learn that in school? The effort that went into learning it is inversely proportional to the use of this knowledge. After all, mitochondria facts aren't really a party starter. But for this story, they will come in handy. Because we're going to talk about three parent babies. You heard that right. Not one, not two, but three parent babies. Here's how. Babies, like all organisms, are made of DNA. And the DNA of children comes from their parents. So, with three parent babies, the process is the same. Except, instead of two, three parents give their DNA. The father who gives the sperm, the mother who gives the egg, and a female donor. So what does this female donor give? Her DNA. Then, a baby will be born like in any IVF birth. That's in vitro fertilization, where the embryo forms outside the womb in a lap dish and then is placed inside the womb of the mother. And this process is called mitochondrial donation treatment. But you may wonder, if the mother is already offering an egg, why is another woman's DNA required? And why only a woman donor? This is where mitochondria come in. What's that, you ask? Mitochondria are like tiny compartments that are inside nearly every cell of our body. They convert food into usable energy at least the decent ones, but sometimes they malfunction. And the defective mitochondria are really bad for the body. They not only fail to give us energy, but can cause brain damage, heart failure, blindness, and muscle wasting. These diseases are incurable and genetic, so they pass on to children. About one in 6,000 babies are born with mitochondrial diseases every year. And it's fatal to them, most dying within hours of their birth. So families have lost multiple children to this. So obviously, parents want to protect their babies from this. And for them, this method is the only solution. People inherit all their mitochondria from a woman, and that's why they need the genes of a third female donor, even if only 0.1% of the baby's genes come from her. Because this brings in the donor's healthy mitochondria, not the faulty ones, and a healthy baby is born which is exactly what's happened in the UK. For the first time in history, a three-parent baby has been born. But this isn't the first such case in the world. In 2016, a three-parent baby was born in Mexico. In 2017, another was born to parents in Ukraine. And in 2019, a similar case was seen in Greece. So the science is clearly picking up across the world, but at a slow pace, because it isn't without risks. This technique is fairly new, there are health concerns, which is why it's banned in countries like America and Canada. Then there are ethical and moral concerns because it's tweaking natural biology. In a few cases, the process is unsuccessful too. But while the concerns are valid, there are also the consequences of not making use of this technique. Because for thousands of families, this is their only hope. What we need is balance. How to achieve it is the challenge. So, three's company or crowd? The choice is yours.